It's time for another Dice Tower Review with John Richard. Howdy gamers, greetings from Indianapolis, Indiana, the gaming capital of the world. It's time for another board game review with me, Indiana John. Today we're taking a look at Among the Stars, which is a card drafting game designed by Vangelis Bagiotakis, I hope I got your name pronounced right, um, and uh, distributed by Artipia Games and Stronghold Games here in the United States. Now, Among the Stars is a card drafting game, very similar to games like Seven Wonders and uh, Sushi Go, and um, except that one of the big differences here is that you're using the cards to build a space station. And each of the cards is a piece of the space station, and uh, you'll lay them on the table, and as you build your space station, the way that those cards relate to each other and how you lay them out is going to get you certain amounts of points. And so you're trying to maximize your points by building the coolest and most effective space station. So um, let's take a look at the setup and gameplay of Among the Stars and see if we can answer that important gaming question, is it fun? So here's the setup for Among the Stars. We get a very nice, uh, colorful uh, scoring sheet here, a scoring board with uh, little tokens to keep track of your score throughout the game. Uh, we have this nice pile of money, which is going to be used to pay the cost to get uh, cards built onto your spaceship. Uh, th then there's these really cool chunky energy cubes, which um, some of the cards require both a money cost and an energy cost, and so you can use those for that. Um, and the way that you're going to get energy in this game is to build reactors, which are going to store energy cubes that you can use for later. Um, there's a whole stack of these power reactors that are available to you during the game, and you know they'll store energy on them like that. Um, you're going to start off the game uh, with your own main reactor. This is sort of the very beginning of your ship, and it's going to start off with two of these um, energy cubes on it. Uh, in addition, you have a whole bunch of different alien races to choose from. So you're going to pick one of those, which um, will have some sort of a special ability during the game. Uh, you know, I think they're pretty balanced. There's a whole bunch of different ones, but you'll select one of those. Uh, and then you're going to get... A, um, a random objective card. So they have these white cards here that are, it's an end of game condition, kind of like a secret goal where you're gonna get points for that at the end. So you'll get that and keep that face down. Um, and so, and then, you know, there's even also a nice little uh, reference card here too. So you get all this nice little stuff in front of you. Uh, and then you're ready to play the game. So. Among the Stars is a card drafting game, much like Seven Wonders or Fairy Tale, Sushi Go, something like that. And so there's going to be a four total rounds, and each round will consist of uh, dealing out a hand of six cards to each player. And then on your turn, you're going to be selecting one of these cards, doing a particular action, and then passing the rest of your cards to the, to the next player. You'll receive a new hand, and then you'll select another card. And you'll do this six times, and that'll be the end of the round. And then you'll do that four times. Um, so let's take a look at the specific actions that you can take on your turn in Among the Stars. And then I'll give you a more of a feel for how this game works. Oh, I forgot to mention that you also get 10 money to start off the game. So on your turn in Among the Stars, you're going to be taking a look at your hand, you're going to select one card from your hand, and place it face down, and then everybody will reveal simultaneously, and then we'll perform the action uh, associated with their card. Um, it says to do it simultaneously, I found that it's not a bad idea to do it in some sort of player order so that you can see what each player is doing and you can get an idea for how their spaceship's being built because that can be important for, um, for later. Um, but you have uh, essentially three options of what you can do on your turn after you revealed your card. You can choose to build the location that's associated with this card. And so then you would spend the uh, amount in either money or energy or both uh, to be able to build it. Now, uh, the money is just you know tokens out of your uh, supply. Energy is a little bit different, and uh, you can sort of see on this card here, let's see if we can get it to focus in here, that uh, it's got an energy value in addition to a money value. So the energy value is going to be spent from one of these reactors and uh, one of the reactors right here. And the, um, the only rule is that it has to be placed within two spaces of a reactor or it can't use the energy. So in this case, I'm right adjacent, so no problem. And you can place it anywhere adjacent, it just can't be diagonal. It has to be a share a side with another piece of your spaceship. But, um, so I, I do that there, and then um, I can spend this energy in order to build that one. Now, after you've built a card, then there's gonna be some scoring that goes on. Every card has a, um, victory point value here on the bottom left of the card. So you're gonna immediately get that number of points. Uh, in addition to that, 
um, there might be some additional points that you'll get from the text of the card. And there's two different kinds of uh, card text, I guess. Uh, there's a, a white card text, which is going to happen immediately. So for this particular card, uh, it says that uh, you're going to get two points and then plus one for every adjacent location. So I'm gonna get two points from this card, and then um, I have another uh, location adjacent, so that's going to be another point. So that's gonna give me three points for this card. Now, there are other uh, cards, I'll use this one as an example, the turret, which have a yellow um, stripe on the bottom here. And uh, when you play those cards, you are going to get the, the points that are in the bottom left here immediately. But then when you play it, uh, you won't get the points that are associated with the yellow stripe until the very end of the game. And in this particular case, it says you're gonna get plus one for each other turret in the station. So this gives you an incentive to build lots of turrets so that you can get uh, turret points. So that's a good, the way that that's going to work, because you're gonna play the card, um, sp uh, spend the, the money or energy that you need, and then score your points, either immediately or wait until the end of the game. That's the first thing that you can do. The second thing that you can do when you reveal your card is to discard it. And instead of using it for the location, you can build a power reactor. And so you'll take one of the power reactors from the supply next to the board, and that costs just one money to build, and you'll place it onto your spaceship, and then it gets the, the associated number of energy cubes. I think it's two for each one of these. Um, so when you're running low on energy, after these things are gone, they're gone. They don't usually replenish. Then you'll need to build another power reactor so that you have energy cubes uh, for those cards that need it. Um, so you can build a power reactor, that's the second thing. Third thing you can do is when you've run out of money and you don't have enough money for cards, you can discard a card and gain three money. Uh, and I think there's even some special uh, alien powers for some of the alien cards that will give you even more money. So, but you'll discard and get three money. That's the third thing that you can do on your turn. So you're gonna be uh, taking turns here, you're building onto your spaceship and you know, making it whatever shape that you want. And um, we'll, go, we'll do this for uh, six turns and then um, deal out another hand of six cards each. You'll do it four times, and then at the end, you'll do some final scoring. The way the final scoring will work is you're pretty much gonna look at these yellow stripes here, and you're going to calculate the points that are uh, from those abilities. You're gonna take a look at your objective cards, the, the one that you get at the very beginning of the game, and see how well you did, and if you accomplish the objective, then you're gonna get the points associated with that. Um, you're also gonna get a point for every uh, power reactor that doesn't have any energy cubes left. So if, if this one is depleted, you're gonna get a point for that. And, um, and then, uh, you know, sort of a, a final, <laughs> final uh, uh, last straw for points, you'll get one point for every three money that's left over. <laughs> So uh, that is pretty much how uh, Among the Stars plays. Now the, the, game, the gameplay is uh, you know, very simple and you know, it's, it's a very easy sort of um, card drafting game, but a lot of the variety in this game comes from the cards. You have uh, sort of regular cards that come in the game and then there's also special cards that you're gonna mix in uh, to the deck every time that you play. So there's a lot of uh, replayability and uh, variety in the game. And so uh, each of the abilities that are on these cards, they sort of interplay with one another. Um, and you can even up, uh, sort of amp up the game by playing in, a, in an aggressive mode. And that, then you're gonna add these dispute cards into the, into the game. And that's when you're gonna be sort of competing directly against one another. Um, you know, for example, this dispute card says that you'll choose another location, uh, another player, and count the number of B or yellow locations um, in each of your space stations. And if you have more, then you're gonna gain victory points equal to the difference and, and that your opponent will lose that amount. So um, you know, this is a way where you can just do direct conflict in, in this game, uh, which is something that you don't usually see in a card drafting game. But uh, that's kind of a neat variant that you can do in the game too to use that aggressive mode. Um, so that is pretty much uh, the overall uh, look at Among the Stars, a really, really cool uh, card drafting game. So the obvious comparison for a game like this is Seven Wonders, which is probably the most popular card drafting game that's been put out in the last few years. Um, and I have to say that for my money, Among the Stars is a better and more fun uh, card drafting game than Seven Wonders, just for me personally. And the reason is because you're building something. Um, you know, you're actually putting those cards on the board and you're seeing your space station get built as you go. Um, and then the way that those cards interact and the way that you, you know, put them next to one another uh, to get maximum points is something that I just really think is a lot of fun. 
Now, Seven Wonders is a great game as far as being able to build combinations of cards, but one of the biggest barriers of entry to Seven Wonders is that it's really hard to teach. And I feel like you're, uh, I, and I'm always the game teacher in my group, and so I'm always having to do this large rules explanation at the beginning to explain what all the different colors of cards do. This game is much more streamlined as far as how to teach uh, the game. I mean, you just saw in the rules explanation that I was, you know, that, that's a very simple game. It's, you know, you can set it up and have it ready to go very, very quickly. And I played this with all new players who hadn't played before, including myself, and we were able to get ready, right into it and playing just within minutes. Um, so I think this is a lot of fun. I've heard that there's several expansions to this game that make it even better. I would definitely like to check those out at some point, but just the standalone game by itself is really, really strong. And so if you like uh, the idea of a deck building game, um, uh, sorry, a, a card drafting game, this is not a deck building game, a card drafting game um, that has some sp uh, spatial elements to it of being able to play cards onto the board, uh, a little bit of an economy to it that's a lot of fun, I would definitely recommend Among the Stars. Uh, now the only thing that's probably a downside uh, with in comparison to something like Seven Wonders would be that it only plays four up to four players at this point uh, instead of uh, se up to seven with Seven Wonders. But like I said, for my money, Among the Stars is a better uh, card drafting game uh, in my opinion and uh, I would definitely recommend it if you like the card drafting mechanic or if you like space stations. <laughs> so feel free to check out Among the Stars. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yeah. Yeah.